Louisiana might be the first state to require the Ten Commandments be displayed in classrooms. Black Sabbath's music is apparently not very good for getting bears out of trees. And North Carolina Senate approves a bill making it a crime to wear a mask anywhere in public. These are the weird stories on Weird AF News. Get right to it. Louisiana might become the first state to require the Ten Commandments to be posted inside the classroom. That's funny coming from a state that can't really read them. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is true. Louisiana, frighteningly, could become the first state to require the Ten Commandments be displayed in classrooms after the Senate overwhelmingly passed the bill. They overwhelmingly, I think that means most of them think this is a good idea. I don't know why you would think this is a good idea. Uh, the legislation introduced in the House by Republican. Republican! Ah, who would have thought? <laughs> the Freedom Party. Uh, Republican Representative Dodie Horton. Dodie Horton! Yeah, this sounds like someone that would want the Ten Commandments in the classroom. I'm Dodie Horton. Not only is my name from the 1800s, but my values are from the 1800s as well. Um, the legislation would mandate that the Ten Commandments appear in every classroom at every public K-12 school, as well as colleges and universities. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, some of those are some of these are private institutions, honey. Are you aware of that? Ha! Now, I, I know some of y'all listening to uh, Weird AF News right now, some of y'all, and you're wondering, is this a real story, Jonesy, or did we step into a time machine and are we listening to an episode of Weird AF News from 1712? No, nope, no. Nope. The Senate approved 30 to 8. Uh, to have the Ten Commandments in the classroom. Do you guys uh, remember the Ten Commandments? Uh, maybe we should rehash them. I don't know. Do we Do we need to go through them? I remember a few of them. Uh, some of them are funny to me. That, uh, it was something about, uh, I won't uh, worship false idols. So, that's it. So, I mean, apparently... I'll have to stop worshiping Tom Brady. That's going to be difficult, but uh, I've always worshiped Tom Brady ever since I can remember. And so, but I believe that's a false idol. I'll have to mention that at, at confession. Now, um, uh, for entertainment pur purposes, let's get into some of the quotes by Dodie Horton. <laughs> Dodie Horton. I picture her dressed like a Puritan, you know, with that little, um, that little bonnet on her head. Did they wear bonnets? I think so. Uh, in my mind, they do. She says here, the Ten Commandments are the basis of all laws in Louisiana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said that on the House floor. This is how the, these are how lawmakers operate in Louisiana. Someone stands up who's an actual elected lawmaker and says, the Ten Commandments are the basis of all laws in Louisiana. And then other people agree? Huh. What kind of bizarro world is this? The Ten Commandments are the basis of all laws in Louisiana. <laughs> I mean, that's just straight up lies at this point. I'm not. Even, I can't even say that she's just naive. That's just a straight up lie. I mean, it's a lie. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. Uh, she also goes on to say, "What this bill does is simply display them, the Ten Commandments, in each classroom for our children to look up and see what God says is right, and what He says is wrong. It doesn't preach a certain religion, but it definitely shows what." I'm it doesn't preach a certain religion? No, no, of course not. It doesn't preach a certain religion. Okay, then why don't we have some of the other tenets of the other religions up on the classroom? Well, I'm sure they would agree to that, correct? Like, what about, um, oh, I'm sure the Satanists, Satanists? Satanists? <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Is it Satanists or Satanists? Uh, it's Satan. Uh, it's like pecan pie and pecan pie. It's, you can say it either way, Sat Satan or Satan. Isn't Satan meat on a stick? <laughs> meat. Satan? <Is> that... <laughs> I'm not right. Oh, there are seven fundamental tenets of the Satanic Temple. Let's read through them. We'll compare them to the Ten Commandments, and we'll, let's vote on which ones should be in the classroom. Uh, here's the first tenet of the Satanic Temple. One should strive to act with compassion and empathy toward all creatures in accordance with reason. Oh, I, I agree with that one. We should be compassionate with all creatures. 
Number two, the struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should prevail over laws and institutions. I agree with that as well. Number three, one's body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. Now, uh, people are fallible. If one makes a mistake, one should do one's best to rectify it and resolve any harm that might have been caused. There's several others that are amazing. Like Beliefs should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit one's beliefs. Yeah, I think, I think some of our uh, <laughs> Western religions could learn from that one. I, I think the, uh, my vote is for the tenets of the satanic temple to be put in the classroom. I think they're, um, they're more attuned with, and more applic- applicable to modern life than the actual Ten Commandments. I mean, I could read those too. That's, I agree with a, a bunch of them, like you shouldn't covet your neighbor's wife. That's a terrible thing to do, covet your neighbor's wife, coveting. I'm not sure what coveting means. I think it's um, borrowing honey and not returning it. Is, is that what it is? Um, yeah, no, I, I think coveting's a little more uh, uh, salacious than that. I wonder if anyone's coveting me out there. Oh, I hope so. That would be lovely. Here's another quote from Dodie in her bonnet, uh, clutching her pearls. I'm not concerned with an atheist. I'm not concerned with a Muslim. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Of course you're not. You know, why would you care about other people's ideologies? You're out for yourself. Exactly what we don't need in a politician pushing forth Ten Commandments in classrooms is that they don't care about any other. No, I only care about what I care about. You know, isn't that how America works? I'm a politician. I don't represent the people. I represent me and my beliefs. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here, guys. That's why I'm, I'm also anti-porn. Oh, no. And I believe all the ladies need to be in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant. All right, what's wrong with you? You're not in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant. Come on, man. This is Louisiana. This is where you should be in the barefoot. You just should be in the barefoot kitchen pregnant. Oh, yeah. Dodie, 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 Dodie. Well, we could say this about Dodie. She's definitely helping Louisiana in the race to be dumber than Florida and Texas. I mean, they're really making headway over there. Congratulations. Black Sabbath's music is not good for getting a bear out of a tree. It's the sound of science going off the rails. It's the sound of science. General gathered and black masses. This is my uh, Aussie impression. Is it annoying yet? <laughs> Just like witches at black masses. Um, let's find out what song they played. Maybe they played multiple Black Sabbath songs, but apparently it doesn't get a bear out of a tree. If you've ever got a bear on your property that you need to get rid of, don't bother blasting Black Sabbath. Apparently it doesn't work. Yes, you should play the song Baby Shark. That makes everybody leave the scene. No one likes Baby Shark, not even bears. Anyways, this is the conclusion that rangers came up with. Rangers that work for the Colorado Parks and Wildlife. According to the media, rangers working for the Colorado Parks and Wildlife resorted to Blasting Black Sabbath's 1970s hit, Iron Man. Iron Man. Mm, There's a bear in the tree, and it's not coming down for me. I can't deal with the bear. Someone go to Home Depot and get bear maze. (laughs) That's ridiculous. I don't like the song Iron Man. I think it's kind of rather dumb. War Pigs is a much more superior song, by far, by far. Uh, So they played Iron Man at the bear stuck in a tree in a golden Colorado hood neighborhood. Colorado hood neighborhood? It came out right. It was right near the Colorado School of Mines. Mines? (laughs) School of Mines? Really, it says the Colorado School of Mines. M-I-N-E-S. Sounds like a very dangerous school to attend. (laughs) Uh, what happened to Tommy? Uh, he blew up in recess. Yeah, we were playing football. He ran a uh, he ran an out route and stepped on a mine. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> we won't see. We won't be seeing him at lunch. Who's gonna? We're gonna split up his lunch. Yeah, might as well split up his lunch. He died. Stepped on a mine. Uh, it says here the usage of heavy metal came after Rangers tried flying a drone near the bear to get it moving, which obviously didn't work. You got to put a sandwich on the drone, bro, and then dangle it around and then slowly bring it down the tree. The bear will follow a sandwich, man. I've watched 
enough uh, Yogi Bear episodes to know that a bears will follow a sandwich, and especially if you dip the sandwich in honey. Yeah, the bear will come right after it. They should have asked me what to do. I know how to. I know what to do. Uh, here's a quote from an onlooker. Oh, they they asked an onlooker. Hey, onlooker, how about a quote from you? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a very good onlooker. Were you looking? Yeah, I was looking. All right, well then you're an onlooker. All right. Well, I mean, I was kind of looking. I got, yeah. That was I. I looked some of the time. Well, that's enough for you to be an onlooker. You saw. You looked at some of it. Okay. Let me get a quote from you, onlooker. Onlooker says, "While slightly annoyed by the drone, we decide to use music blasted at the bear. Now, if he starts banging his head, we got a problem, I suppose. <laughs> a good sense of humor from this onlooker. Don't worry. The bear eventually came down." Did it step on a mine? No! That would be very anticlimactic if they got the bear down from the tree and then it took two steps and stepped on a mine near the school of mines. But like, oh, yeah, we should have probably disabled that mine that was near the tree first. Well, you know, we haven't found all the mines around here, although we're a school of mines. <laughs> Everyone's here to see here is training to deal with mines. We still haven't got them all. Poor bear. So the bear came down. Once most of the humans were gone and it wandered off, probably to the nearest record store and dispensary where it grabbed some old Black Sabbath and a bag of edibles. This bear is cool as heck now. This is what the article says. Whoever wrote this is quite funny. Yeah, blasting Black Sabbath. How's that going to get anything out of a tree? Oh, oh, I could come down from the tree or I could just chill in a tree listening to some free Black Sabbath. Considering is I'm a bear and I don't have a Spotify account, so this is pretty cool. Who else is going to play Black Sabbath for me? Nobody does, and there's no more MTV, which is what I got in my den. They don't. Well, I mean, there is MV, MTV, but they don't play music videos anymore like they used to. Shoot, man, all day I used to watch music videos in my den. Now they're they're playing like bad reality television. It's dating shows mostly on MTV. Where's all the music videos? Where have they gone? I enjoyed that immensely. All that Def Leppard and Journey. What happened? Can a bear get a music video? <laughs> How's a bear going to get his groove on when there's no music videos? The bear's only got basic cable in its den, guys. Oh, Lord, yeah. You ever hear a, a podcaster play drums on the closet? Pretty good, man. I got my skills going, man. I'm working it. I'm way, I'm way too talented to be doing this podcast. <laughs> The North Carolina Senate approves a bill making it a crime to wear a mask in public. Can't wear masks in North Carolina. My goodness. They approved House Bill 237 that would prohibit the wearing of masks in public. Oh, I want to I need to know what kind of masks here. What about the sick people with immunocompromising conditions, guys? They need to wear masks out there. They can get germs in their system and that's no good. What about women of a certain religion? They want to cover up. They got to do it. Uh, what about Halloween for crying out loud? Well, I here's my stance on it. I for one am outraged by this clear attack on my favorite holiday. Should be wearing Masks on Halloween, and now well, I'm not sure. I have to read the details to find out if they give you a, um, if you're totally absolved from wearing a mask. They give you a free pass on October 31st. There's other instances, too. We need to get to the bottom of this. For instance, what if you're a baseball catcher and you're walking to the field? You have a mask on. You need that mask to protect yourself. What about a football helmet? Does that count? It's really not a mask, but during the game they call face masks. They're like, but it's not really a mask. They're just they're, they're bars over your face, but they still call it a face mask for some reason, which which sends you know the wrong information about what a football helmet really is made of. It's it's you know it's more so helmet with bars over the face than it is a mask per se. This is a controversial bill. It says no way controversial. And it would also increase criminal penal penalties for those who commit crimes while wearing a mask in public. So you you get more time if you wear a mask while committing your crime rather than committing a crime without the mask. So there's going to be a lot of meetings between criminals before they get going. All right, guys, before we rob this bank, we go. I got some um, uh, Sally bought some ski masks from uh, Target. Let's vote on whether or not to wear the ski mask. Now, 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 realize that if we get arrested when we're wearing a ski mask, we're going to have to face a little bit more time for the crime. So, you know, you just just so we all know what we're getting into. I want to set the parameters here. They have that law that just came about about wearing masks in public. Yeah, it says here the 
This all comes in the wake of protests that have erupted on college campuses across the country in response to the Israel-Hamas conflict. If it becomes law, the bill will also create a new offense for blocking traffic. Well, yeah, you shouldn't block traffic anyways. This is a tactic that used, that's used in some recent protests. Yeah, and I, I'm, not, I'm not all for that sort of protesting, all right? I am for protesting. I am not for protesting in traffic, man. That's, you know, that's where I draw the line. Don't you be out there with your, in the traffic, you stopping the 405 from being alive and working right. You know, some of us got to get places, you know, we got to get to the, to the juicery, got to get to my juicery, get my $14 kale juice here in Los Angeles, you know, trying to be healthy guys, live a healthy lifestyle. The votes were cast 30 to 15 along party lines and it now heads back to the house for concurrence. I guess that means, uh, the house will vote on it along party lines. Uh, a lot. That's a lot of people. Thirty to fifteen. That's a lot. That's a lot of. It's, I'm, I'm going to guess it's Republican run. You know how those Republicans? They're just very. The the party that wants so, so much freedom <laughs> seems to be always always limiting the freedom. The the party that wants little government always going over the top with the government. Really, getting into your personal life, telling you what you can and cannot do. You can't wear a mask even if you decide you want to. What about if I want to be a Power Ranger and get some candy in my jack o' lantern? Nope. Now the bill is uh, opposed by. Uh, reasonable human beings, I would guess, uh, but some Democrats here, but someone named Batch, who said that uh, as someone who is immunocompromised during recent medical treatment, she obviously opposes any provision that makes mask wearing more difficult for people with health concerns. Uh, she says, uh, we talk a lot about freedoms in this chamber. I hear it all the time. I should have the freedom. My children should have the freedom. My husband should have the freedom to wear a mask in order to protect and save my life without fear of being arrested and charged with a class one misdemeanor, which is exactly what this bill would do. <laughs> well, that seems really foolish to pass such a bill. I mean, and, and, and what about what about if you're uh, you got one of those Korean exfoliating face masks on and then you got to go out and grab the mail? I mean, I, those face masks do a good job. They keep you very hydrated. I love them for one. I pick up one whenever I go to um, Daiso because they're cheap in there and they're very good. And then and they make my face glowing. And sometimes, you know, I find myself in public with that face mask. Not often, but sometimes, you know. What about if you're a member of a secret society or, or, or where is wearing a hood okay <laughs> still? <laughs> oh, man. You know what Einstein once said? It's a quote that I just, I just absolutely love. Uh, Einstein said, the difference between genius and stupidity is that genius has limits. <laughs> it's instances like this that remind me. I don't think it gets any dumber than a rural American politics. It's just really. <laughs> look at, look at past this thing, man. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry. You can't wear masks in public in uh, North Carolina, but you could still wear guns on your face. That's no problem. Put all the guns you want on your face. You don't even need a permit to have them on your face in public either. Yay! Oh, Lord, yeah! I'm working on my uh, Aussie. Oh Lord, yeah. Oh Lord, yeah. How was that one? Was that one? Was that good? I'll... No. One more time. One more time. Oh Lord, yeah. It's pretty good. I've sung that song at karaoke, and I always, I always nailed it. Oh Lord, yeah. I'm just very proud of that part. <laughs> ah, let's give thanks and praise on the outro, shall we? That's what the outro is for, among other things. Give thanks and praise. To Benson. Benson, join the Patreon. The Weird AF News Patreon. Did you guys know there was a Weird AF News Patreon? And it's really cool to be a member. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. Hey, do you kids want to be cool? Do you want your, your you want to be the envy of your entire block? Yeah. Do you want to go to the play, playground with your head held high and all the kids envy you? Well, join the Weird AF News Patreon. That'll sure do it. Like Benson. Benson joined the Patreon, showing real true support, you know, because it's not a one time donation. The Patreon is a is a is a monthly. I guess you'd call it a subscription. I call it a commitment, a commitment. I call it loving support for your boy Jonesy here. I call it the ultimate way to let me know you like me <laughs> joining the Patreon. It's like buying Jonesy a beer every month. I mean, who wouldn't want to buy me a beer every month? Can't you see I need it? 
Uh, also, uh, maybe I need a prescription to some sort of uh, medicinals. You know, uh, maybe I got a antipsychotic drug that I need to take because, uh, yeah, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Anyways, Benson is contributing. Benson is stepping up the game and showing love for Weird AF News. I don't know how long Benson has been listening. Could be a day. Could be a year. Could be since... For I don't know. I think I'm on episode number 1750, so it might be episode number four or one. I don't know. But Benson is really stepping up the game as far as support goes for Jonesy and Weird AF News. A real, a real patron of the arts. A real philanthropist, if you, if I might, if I do say so myself. So I just want to give Benson a shout out. Welcome to the Patreon. There's extra weird content inside the Patreon that you get access to when you join the Patreon, which is just a little perk. I mean, in addition to, uh, you know, feeling sexy for joining the Patreon, knowing that you're supporting the cool guy in a closet, that, you know, you get this extra stuff is what I'm saying. So, oh, you guys want to join the Patreon? Wow, that's really cool. Thanks for uh, thanks for saying so that you want to join the Patreon. I'm very flattered. Uh, how do you? Oh, how do you do so well? Thanks for asking. Here's the here's what you do. You go to weirdafnews.com, click on the Patreon banner, or you go to the official website. Patreon has a website. Yeah, p a t r e o n dot com slash. You do that slash. Yeah, like the guitar player from Guns N' Roses. You know the one. Yeah. Slash Weird AF News. That's how you do that. Or you can uh, click on the link in the description of this YouTube video if you're listening on YouTube or you're listening to the podcast. There's a description in the podcast. Or you can download the Patreon app on your phone. I love how when you just, just when you think Axel's done. He goes at it again. Download the Patreon. <laughs> Download the Patreon app on your phone. Do a search for Weird AF News. I'm the only guy in town. I'm the only game in town. It's the only one. All right. Thanks, Benson. Cool. Got some nice comments. Uh, one on the um, Spotify version of the podcast from Stacy Kernohan. Stacy wrote, "Awesome show. Long time listener. Love your sense of humor. Keep it coming. Pretty sweet." Short and sweet. You can write it on a so you can write individual comments on episodes of the Spotify, not on the not on an actual page of the show. You know, but you can give me five stars, Stacy. Please give me five stars, please, please, please. If you haven't already, I'm sure Stacy has because I'm sure she's very thorough. She's very thorough. She 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 put plenty of exclamation marks and she even used a comma. See, long time listener, comma, love your sense of humor, exclamation, exclamation. So she definitely cross. Crosses her T's and dots her lowercase J's, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm positive she's uh, left me five stars, which is just uh, just amazing. Uh, also, here someone on YouTube made a nice comment. Let's uh, let's give them some love on the YouTube. Someone named Rabbit Cronegel. Rabbit Cronegel. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a dish. Uh, yes, tonight we have uh, we have oysters. Uh, oysters fricassee <laughs> is that a thing oysters fricassee we have uh, spaghetti bolognese and uh, rabbit cronegle if you're uh, if you'd like to have some rabbit rabbit wrote up uh, on the article here on behalf of all headphone people thank you for getting rid of the beep I love the voices, Jonesy, even when they don't match the person. Even when you become the most famous podcaster, you're still going to have to film in the closet because dot, 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 tradition. Yeah, I mean, it's almost as though Rabbit can read my mind. Rabbit, you know me so well, Rabbit. Obviously, even if I was a famous podcaster or a famous anything, I would have to film in the closet. If I was a famous serial killer, I don't think I'd be allowed to film in a closet. I'd have to film it. I'd have to shoot in a record in a jail cell if they have that. Do, do jails have podcast studios now? I'd imagine they do. Why not? You know, a podcast studio. But who wouldn't want to hear a podcast by a prisoner? That sounds pretty amazing. Even like just saying what you did this week would be pretty fascinating. Anyways, yeah, I'm always going to have to record in a closet, Rabbit. You know me so well. Thank you for the nice uh, comment on the YouTube videos. I appreciate that. I hope you keep listening, and uh, please spread the word about Weird AF News. And you're welcome for getting rid of the beeps. I'll get rid of them today. And, uh, I won't have any beeps on there. I'll just get rid of the beeps. You guys, clearly more than one person is annoyed by them. I didn't know this was the case, but, you know, I, listen, my listeners have spoken, and I have 
complied. That's what I'm all about. I want to give the people what they want. Hold on, I got to sip this coffee. I give the people what they want. You want some terrible Aussie Osborne impressions? Yeah? That's what you get. I'm going up the rails in a crazy train. Mm, good luck with your life, man.